Oh, right in the face. Oh yeah. Straight oh, ATF, buddy. Her up. But, oh my goodness, she's got some power now, buddy. Will it break or will it work great? It's just in time maintenance. On this episode, 4K footage, so you can see every hair on his beard. All right, what are we doing today, Justin? Welcome back to Novice Garage. Today, we have my 99 Dodge Ram with almost 350,000 miles, low oil pressure, and a lot of clatter coming from the engine. And I am very hard to kidnap. So I decided, what kind of detergent can I use for this thing to clear out the sludge out of the engine? Well, the best thing is Honda transmission fluid. ATFDW1. This works perfect, maybe. I don't know. Don't take my advice. We're gonna see, we're gonna find out, is this gonna blow my engine up or clear it out and fix the oil pressure issue? God, I hope it doesn't blow it up. What are you gonna do if it blows up? Walk. <laughs> I mean, you could buy a Ford. Uh, I don't know if a Ford can get 350,000 on a gas engine. I don't know. So let's see some of the symptoms here. So All right, we just do got it. done driving this truck, so it is not going to clatter when I start it up. Maybe. No, it's not too clear. There's the mileage there. You want to zoom in it's got there? a two, sorry, there's a three. 349,700 and a lot. And low gas. And here's an issue that we're having, and I don't know if it'll do it when I'm not driving, but. You hear that? Yeah. Yeah, and this is what my oil pressure normally sits at. 35 pounds all of. Now, I have changed, I have changed my transmission, I'm sorry, my um, oil pressure sensor, I have changed my oil pump. The only thing that this can be is a clog. Last time I changed the oil about a thousand miles ago, I screwed off the filter and nothing came out. So it's, it's not getting oil to the filter and that's a problem. Now I threw some Lucas in here, it's helped it out a little bit. It got it to where the light turns off, but it's still, not working so we're gonna go ahead and dump in i'll take care of this truck man i don't hot rod I know it you do i don't run it to death give her a little you actually change the oil you care about it yeah when i can oh yeah straight oh, atf buddy her up baby As you can see, oil cap is going back on. Oh yeah, do not overfill. We're just gonna ignore that. And now we're gonna start her up and run her for about 15 minutes, maybe 20. I don't know, however long it runs. She's running good. We forgot to do three, two, one, ad break. Ah, uh, ad break. <laughs> Yeah, it will basically, we'll see. Does this oil pressure come back up later on in the video? Oh, we gotta time this, don't we? Yeah, you should probably time it. Yeah, kinda don't wanna tear nothing up. All right, so far so good. We got the ATF acting as the de-sludger, hopefully taking away what it sounds like as a knocking noise. Buddy is supervising. Buddy. So Buddy has an infatuation with me. It's unnatural. He just saw me 20 minutes ago, but He's got to be all up in my business. You know, we're getting him a good, healthy dose of carbon monoxide right now. Because I know I'm getting it. But if I'm getting it, Buddy's getting it. This is why he's getting so tired so quickly. Because he's uh, breathing oh, yeah. in the elements. Will it break or will it work great? It's just in time maintenance. Ah! Get him. So this truck has never run this good. It's never been able to idle before, ever. I've owned this truck for two years, oh, 60 or 70,000 miles. It's never idled like this. Like it always stumbles and blah, 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 blah. It won't idle. Now it's idling. To really yeah, truly get all the sludge out without taking the engine apart is, I could always dump, drain the oil, dump like five quarts of diesel in it and pull the oil or fuel pump fuse. Let's do it. 
So I have a very, very special redneck heater for this truck. Let me show you. This is my redneck heater. This used to be a shingle sample board. Okay. All right. A bog. If it's really cold outside. Nice. Hell like yeah. all the airflow. Exactly. This thing will get hot, hot. It'll actually bring it up to normal temperature like it should be when it's cold out. All right, it's been 15, really about 17 minutes because I started the timer late. Um, and we're gonna shut it off. And we're gonna let her heat soak for a good 15, 20 minutes. Make sure all that transmission fluid and everything gets down to the bottom. So I, the camera guy, got, I blew my Z up, my Nissan 350Z, so I went and bought a uh, brand new to me Miata, and it's a, it's a pretty small car, but we're gonna see if Justin can even get in it. Just for reference, I am six foot three of masculine energy, kinda. Eh, debatable. YMCA. Uh. Okay. You did you made it. I'm actually in. You made it. Holy crap, my knees are on the dash. I'm still touching the ceiling. <laughs> Buddy, this would have to be like for me, it would have to be a top off car. High five. High five. Very nice. Now's the time we're gonna check the oil, see what it looks like, and then we're gonna drain it. And hopefully we might get a little chunky. Get a little chunky chunks out of it. Chunky monkey. Let's see what we got. And it looks almost the same. A little dirtier toward the bottom. All right, here's where it gets tricky. It's doing this without burning myself on this exhaust. Now we're gonna loosen this sucker up. Oh, right in my face. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, that is, that is not going in. All right, now if you'll remember, as I said earlier, um, last time I changed the oil, uh, the oil filter didn't have really any oil in it. So uh, what we're gonna do is, is look and see if this thing has any oil because then we're already much better. Oh, who put that there? That's such a bad design. Oh, don't burn myself on the exhaust. Okay, no oil coming out. Yay, we got oil. She's coming out this time. Oh, oh, pump. crap. Oh, that's hot. I bet that is hot. Ooh, that's some spicy oil. Last time it did not do this. I was able to pull the entire filter off without spilling a drop of oil because there was like no oil in it. It was maybe a quarter full. Got me a little homemade funnel here, you know. Always gotta be prepared. Now I spilt it. Always gotta be prepared. You know, I got my razor blade and I got my used up water bottle. Cut her up, bam, homemade funnel. Pouring in my mobile one. High mileage. For 75,000 miles and above. Let me ask you, you think it's a lot? Moment of truth? Moment of truth. So what do we do? Moment of truth, probably gonna knock because it's a Dodge, but. Dry it. Oh, okay. Oil came up. Oil pressure came up. Let's see if she's. Holy crap! Look at the oil pressure. Yeah, like 42, 45. It never goes up. Oh my gosh. I think we might have fixed this, boys. Let's, Let's go. So, after adding the uh, Honda ATF and flushing out the, the engine, it's, it's running a lot better. The oil pressure is is idling higher. It's it's running it right around 40, not even under full throttle. She got power again. She got power again. Holy crap, she got power again. Houston, we got power. <laughs> we got power. That was actually pretty quick. I take care of this truck, man. I don't hot rod I know it. You do. She got power, buddy. Yeah. Oh crap! It's and, moving, and that oil pressure is actually moving. When I oh my gosh, the oil pressure is moving. Oh my goodness, she's got some power now, buddy. Wow. She oh, oh my power's back. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to pull a trailer with this thing. See, I pull with it every single day. I'm usually I usually have like a thousand or two thousand pounds of shingles in the bed, or I'm pulling a. You know, the, the trailer that I pull is 3,700 pounds empty. So it is so nice to have this power back because I've not had this power in probably a year and a half, two years. This is nice. Hell yeah. Oh, 
this is nice. Okay. You were too close. Get out of the way. You made me run over the curb and that little crippled guy. Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see him either. Uh, I just felt him. You're right. So would you recommend this procedure? I absolutely would. Um, I would go with a cheaper transmission fluid than the Honda transmission fluid. That's about $12 a quart from Honda. But I just had it in my garage because I did a transmission flush on my Honda not long ago. Well, I guess it's been a long go. It's been a year. But I had over-ordered. You know, they, they give you a discount in bulk. I bought 12 quarts of it. Only needed 10, so I had two extra. And, yeah, I definitely would recommend doing this. Um, just be a little easy on it. You know, kind of read up as much as you can because I'm not responsible for <laughs> what you do. <laughs> will it break or will it work great? It's just in time maintenance.